Hey guys, how's everyone doing today? Hope you're all having a great day. Anyways, we have seen some changes on the channel. One is the name has changed slightly. I changed it from a Z to an S. I may remove plays altogether just by having it named Fallon. Just so it's more easy to find, easy to search up if someone wants to know, as well as simplicity. One word. Simple. The one saying like, oh yeah, Fallon Stormworks or Minecraft video or whatever is awesome. You should go check it out. It's easy to search up Fallon and be like, ah, there it is. Instead of search a Fallon, and nothing works. Because that's what happens, apparently. Another thing, too, uh, profile picture has changed. I have updated it. So it's a lot different. Okay, instead of a wolf, it's an actual person that I modeled after myself. <laughs> ah, anyways, we're here with a new video. Today is going to be Stormworks. Basically, how to build modular engines. Because, why not? Who wants to know how to build modular engines? I do. Or if you want to get into experimental, what you do is you right click on the game, you click properties, you go to betas, you click down on that little menu that will pop up, and you click opt into experimental. And that will put you into there. And then, when you're done with that, you should have modular engine parts. So. You're gonna want a clutch, you're gonna want crankshaft, you're gonna want your cylinder heads as well as your drive belt. And start with that. So, what you're gonna want to do is place your crankshaft so whichever way it works, if you want your engine vertical, then obviously place your crankshaft like that. But for this tutorial, we're gonna place it horizontally. We're just gonna do a simple engine like this. These are your cylinder heads. You rotate them around. You'll see this one connection port that's different. This matches up with these ones, so these go on here. Now, these will all share exhaust, air, and fuel. If you have one down here, it will not share exhaust and fuel unless you connect these with a manifold, uh, modular engine manifold, like, ah. This, it will now share air, fuel, and exhaust, but if you don't have that on, then these, you'll have to have a separate fuel source for them. And for this tutorial though, uh, we're just going to remove those. Next, what we're going to want to do is put our drive belt here, put a clutch on the end, and you guys should know how clutches work if you have used engines before and had a clutch system. You apply power to it, it can either disengage the engine from the main uh, power, I guess, and vice versa. Next, what we're going to want is engine starter. Let's grab a fluid pump to help circulate uh, like water in that. And then a... You don't need an alternator, but I suggest it because all vehicles use alternators anyways, and same with engines, because when you start up a vehicle, it will use up power. Now I would suggest uh, disabling. We'll put our alternator over there. Starter on the up. And then I'm going to put the pump on the Or I'm going to put the pump on the bottom, actually. Yep. So how these line up is, for the most part, you'll see this one-sided piece. The other ones don't have a face on them, but this one does. That white base lines up with that port, as you can see. That's how that works. Next, what we're going to want to do is add a exhaust system. So how exhaust works is currently there's no particles or anything, so yeah, it's gonna But you only need one for the entire system. So that right there would let all of these work. And they'd work fine. But because I like making things look nice, I am going to Okay. 
that. So they just have to line up. And obviously that's the exhaust. Good. I grab some teeth. I can rotate them right. Oh god. And that is all we need. Now Sending them like that doesn't work as far as I know, so don't do that. But that's all you need for it to work, and then you could hook a pipe to it. But once you hook a pipe to it, I don't know if it works. I haven't tested it. Or do I feel like really testing it? Next, what we're gonna want to do is add another fluid. So this doesn't need electricity, it's completely powered in here. I guess next we'll add a carb. For the we'll finish the fluid thing. We'll add the coolant manifold. Add the coolant manifold, which means we're actually gonna move that pump up here. I keep rotating it. Oh I rotate it the wrong way again every single time. We're gonna put our cooling here, and then the manifold. So far it doesn't actually matter where it goes. You could put this on the top or on the side here and it still works. That should be... Yeah, so as long as this is in it should be fine. Sweet. So that will be our coolant of the engine done. Next what we're going to want to do is obviously add fuel. So which means we do need a carb. So, which is to, uh, intake. So, this, we will put right, I don't know, put it here. Right here. Engine intake. So we're gonna crash that. This is the starter. We're gonna put the starter in the bottom. This will make it look way nicer. What we're gonna do? We're gonna put the intake. Oh, you gotta rotate. Oh, not like that, or not like that either. Okay, one side should be air. One side should be fuel. Now these are doesn't really matter because I mean I'll just put them on the right side then. But rotate it so far without indicators you just have to wait and your air for air I am gonna use the most simplest thing and that is gonna be a fluid port fluid port and then fuel I'm gonna add a uh, let's grab a tank and some pipe As well as we're going to need a fluid hose anchor and for the fuel. This is going to be our gas. Put our gas tank here, fluid anchor. We're going to put a fluid anchor on here directly and then we're just going to hook those up and that will be our fuel. There we go. I just made it to the Next we're going to want our coolant. So you could use a radiator. Uh, I don't know if this is a bug, but this will work too. So if you see what I'm doing. I'm going to simply up it to a T. Rotate it. that and then this like that so this does work for cooling not sure if not sure uh, also set it to water would be good I'm not sure if it'll be bad if it's diesel but that will work like that so now that our engine is basically complete, we're going to add a propeller so we can see it working. 
items. Color. And next we're gonna add our uh, button. We're gonna add a push button. As well as some throttles. Boom, boom. Oh. Now all I have to do is add a battery. Boom. And now all I have to do is wire it up. Let's do our electricity first. So the alternator and starter. So what'll happen is the alternator or yeah, the starter will start this, this is producing power. The alternator will give power back to this after it's done, like real vehicles, it powers the battery up for another start. As well as it gives your instruments the power it needs to run your vehicle. Okay, we're also gonna add a, another throttle lever because something interesting about the alternator if I, and by the way, everything on here is selectable, and there's nothing actually on it. What happens if this goes on? I don't think anything would happen. If I go here, and take a look at the node of clutch, it has a clutch pressure. Take manifold does have throttle, so yeah. Same with the fluid pump, it also has a clutch pressure. Weird. That's interesting. I didn't know that had one too, actually. So add... Then just to be sure, because I really want to test out... There's different ways to give it, like, more fuel, or not fuel, no. Anyways, let's wire up the basic stuff. Uh, throttle goes to the button. Go to here, your clutch, the, uh, and then the alternator will be that. We'll see how that varies and helps out with cooling and etc. Uh, we can see tank content. We can put a pump on that and it would help. I'm not sure how well a pump would work with fuel, but we'll see. That should be the wiring done. So, we spawn it in here, the drop, and here is our engine all its glory and the fuel hose. Seriously enough, I think we can actually grab, yeah, we can grab the hose, right if we need, there. Uh, also, if you didn't know or wanted to add a hose, you could just yeet one from over here and grab it, which now that I think of it, we don't need this fuel tank. Yeah, we can use. We have this. Aha! Work at its finest. We have a. We can just hook it directly up to the diesel tank. Just pump it straight to here then. That's a lot more fuel, so it'll be good. So now. We have our throttle up a little. We have our RPS going up. About three rotations per second. Bring that up. So yeah. And then 34 degrees. And obviously no power. And we are producing electricity now. I do that. I would just like to state. Uh, that'll be probably the end of this video. Uh, and by probably, I mean it will be. Uh, the rest of this was just me testing. Uh, so those clutches didn't actually do anything for the alternator and pump. Uh, I'm not sure if I could fix that. Again, this isn't experimental. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed. Um, also, the more cylinder heads you add, and when you connect them with the manifold, they will produce more power, but be warned because it can increase temperatures significantly. So if you do that, uh, make sure in the new update you make it so you definitely have like 50,000 radiators, is my suggestion.
Uh, yeah, because if not, come out. If it does. Anyways, hope you all have a great day. And if you liked the video, uh, consider giving a like and maybe even subscribing if you want to see more content. And yeah, have a great day.